Sagittarians, welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Moon Diva, for those of you all that are new. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in one, you can find that information down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. I want to start off with some intuitive messages and see what comes through for you. Oh, some good messages here, guys. Wow. <laughs> guys, you have a new beginning, okay? This new beginning could be with a new person or a new start in your life in some other field. It could also indicate that there was a new beginning, meaning a new person completely coming into your life. I know some of you all are definitely, if you're like me, you're waiting on somebody new to come in, you know? Being patient, okay? Because right now you could be having boring sex or you could be having a lack of sex at this time, okay? But there is somebody coming in be patient <laughs> somebody coming in to make your body weak baby all right so be patient all right no more boring sex is what you all i feel like i'm getting i'm hearing somebody say if man i'd rather have if if i'm gonna have bad sex i'd rather not have sex at all trust me i feel you all right and um this is something i feel like you all are fed up with you're tired of dealing with people that play mind games um, could be people that play mind games and act like they want new beginnings or they want new stars with you. But what they really want is just sex. And I feel like some of you all are just completely over it. Okay, completely. All right, not willing to try. Yeah, this is that energy that I feel like you all have found yourselves dealing with. You could have recently maybe started going on dating sites, you know, maybe hoping to meet somebody, maybe going out there. But what you've been finding are people that have just not been meeting the mark for you okay again it's talking about sex here you have kinky i feel like some of you all are like listen i know i have something more to offer than this so why do i keep running into people that play games with me i want something new like i'm tired of the old all right i'm tired of the bs and the runarounds okay for some of you all Again, I mentioned there's a new beginning. Could be somebody from your past that is reaching out. Could be somebody new that is calling or sending you a message. All right. It says call or message coming. All right. Wow. Be very careful at this time, okay? This is what they call cuffing season, Aquarius. And we all know in cuffing season, you know, you may start to get lonely for those of you all that are single. And of course, it's the holiday season. It's cold in some areas, you know, of the world. And you just want to be booed up with somebody, okay? But there is somebody out here, I feel, that is pretending to want a new beginning with you, but they're playing games. This is somebody that's not willing to give you everything that you you want but instead they're coming back for the benefit of you okay it says um wanting benefits without investing okay so this is somebody that is going to basically i i hate when this comes through but basically this is somebody that's going to waste your time all right you and your person could have the initial h for some of you yeah definitely look out for the wow Look at this. I was about to say definitely look out for the red flags. But I mean, here you go. Okay, red flags galore. Somebody's definitely trying to make their way uh, towards you, all right, in love. But I feel like for you all to remain optimistic because the thing is, is that there is somebody coming, all right? Could be you and your person could have a cancer moon as well. But I feel like, I love that the fact that this was basically at the bottom of the cards, which is remain optimistic, okay? Because I feel like this is an energy that a lot of Aquarians have been getting lately. It's something, I'm an Aquarius as well, so I can say this, but it's something about us where it's sort of like, for some people, we could be a challenge. For other people, um, I, I just get this feeling of, we have, how do I say this? For some of us, we have a way around the bedroom. But the thing is, is that people don't understand. We are just as deep, we're just as passionate as as a Scorpio. And, you know, we may not show it, you know, in the same way. We, we can be emotionally closed off. But the thing is, is that when we want just sex, we'll let you know we want just sex, okay? When we want a commitment, we'll let you know when we want a commitment. And I feel like there is somebody that thinks that they can play us. They can play on this energy of us, of knowing 
we know how to read people and we see through the bullshit. And I feel like there's somebody whose bullshit you've seen a time or two and they're trying to come back around with, well, I hope that this time around I can, I can fool Aquarius because I couldn't fool Aquarius last time. And that's what's pissing me off. This is somebody that knows good and well. They have no intentions of having a relationship. Whether this is somebody you recently met or whether this is somebody from your past trying to make a return. This is someone that thinks that you don't know their intentions. Okay. So I feel like uh, for some of you all, it's really time. Maybe some of you all did have this hope that this person from your past or what have you is somebody that wants more. But the truth of the matter is, um, I feel like these red flags were here a long time ago and it's time for you to um, really just kind of dead this situation. Cause I feel like I, I feel like some of you all may have kind of distanced yourself from the person. You may have told them a little bit, but I don't feel like you really dug into that queen of swords in a reverse, okay? Queen of swords in a reverse is basically considered a bitch. I don't feel like you all have really given this person the business, like really told them, listen, I'm fool with you. I don't want you. Ain't nothing about you. The sex ain't even that good. Somebody needs to be told off and cut off. Okay, because I feel like they feel entitled to you as if they still have an in in your life. And you need to let this person know that you no longer have an in in my life. Okay, give me more messages, please. Can you give me more information surrounding this person? Can you give me more information surrounding this person, please? What does the sign of Aquarius need to know? It's telling me to take this card as well, so I'm going to take it. <clears throat> So this person is saying, I know you're my soulmate. Again, this is somebody that's wanting benefits without intentions, okay? This is someone that's willing to tell you whatever you want to hear so that they can have an opportunity to sleep with you again, all right? We're just going to be clear straight to the point. But the truth of the matter is this person has someone that they are emotionally or sexually tied to, but they're still trying to get this benefit of you. You can't have a relationship with me if you have a relationship with somebody else. All right. I plan on proposing, meaning I plan on wasting your time. I plan on telling you what you want to hear in hopes that you give me a second chance to waste your time. All right. This is somebody they could be secretly in love with you. And it could be heartbroken from the fact that there is no more. But at the end of the day, they know they are wrong if they were to try to entertain you. Okay, that's why it says we know that we both know this is wrong. It could have been a situation where you may have known, all right, that this person was taken by somebody else. And you were like, you know what, I'm just going to entertain them. I'm not going to worry about the consequences. But I feel like for you, you couldn't live with the guilt. Or you couldn't live with the fact that you're not willing to share somebody. So you said, hey, I'm going to back out of this. All right. And here this person comes saying they need you to trust them. There is no trust there. This is somebody that has shown you time or two that they are not worthy of your time and or attention. All right. Let's get some more messages. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're being charmed and you know you're being charmed this is somebody that watches you this person is very calculated this could be somebody that looks at your social media a lot to see if your status change or to see if you're posting any stories of anybody that you could possibly be dating and when they see that maybe you're dating someone they want to see if they can kind of steal you away i feel like this is somebody that gets turned on by the possibility of taking you some, from somebody else, all right? Or seeing if they still got it, all right? Somebody that doesn't have any boundaries in place. There needs to be some boundaries. I'm telling you, you need to cut. What did I tell you? There's that sword. This person needs to be cut off. This is somebody you're being protected from, all right? This is somebody that reflects wounds. This is somebody, there's something that's happened in your life, whether... um whether this was a situation in a past relationship or when you were, you were a child where this person kind of brings up an old wound of maybe neglect. I feel like when they neglect you, it hurts. It comes from a deeper place, much deeper than what this person even imagines. And they have a way of hurting and loving you at the same time that you can't seem to let go of. I'm telling you this person for some of you all is married. 
And this is somebody that even though they're married, they're always trying to reach out and say, hey, I'm just thinking about you or I care about you. There's a soft spot there for this person. All right. But know that you're worth waiting for, Aquarius. All right. There is somebody out there that's going to give you gen gentle, loving, gentle touches. There is somebody out there that's going to give you all these things, but it's not going to come from somebody that's already connected to somebody else. OK, if this person wants you, genuinely wants you, then they will leave that situation behind. They wouldn't share you with somebody else is what I'm getting. All right. Let me go ahead and pull some more in uh, Oracle messages and then we'll go straight into the tarot cards. All right. Give me the most important messages that need to come through. Give me the most important messages that need to come through for the sign of Aquarius, please. Mm. Wow. For some of you all, this could be somebody you have a child with and you're trying to make the decision. I feel like this is why it's so hard for you to try to decide whether to stay or to go. Man, Aquarius. Wow. I mentioned before, this is somebody that you may have known in the beginning for some of you all that this person was taken, but integrity has come through, okay? It says, does this situation align with your values and your morals? At the end of the day, it doesn't. For some of you all, you had no clue this person was married. You found out later on, maybe after your feelings had gotten involved, but you knew morally it just wasn't right and you couldn't be second fiddle in somebody's life. All right, is what I'm getting here. There's a decision that needs to be made. It's time for you to decide about this relationship because I'm telling you, whoever this is, they are coming back. They're coming back to see if they can keep you stuck in this cycle of toxicity, okay? It has here, you have here finances and you have abundance. It says financial challenges are affecting this connection. You've done the work, abundance flows to you now. For some of you all, this person could be trying to come back for financial reasons. You could be maybe like the breadwinner. This is somebody that always depended on you financially. Um, you were the one in this situation that always had the abundance, always had their stuff together, or your life could have gotten a lot better after you walked away from this person. But there is something that they're coming back for, whether it's just to take advantage um, emotionally or whether it's to try to come back and take advantage um, financially as well. But it says children are important to this partnership. Okay, for some of you all, this person could still try to wine and dine you for the simple fact they may not want to be on child support. Wow, that just came out like clear. Somebody in this situation is definitely dealing with somebody that's trying to woo you so you won't put them on child support. I feel like for some of you all, this is somebody that may try to come back to your life because they don't want to be on child support. And this is so crazy how this came through. But I, I do, I feel like that they, that, or for those of you all that get a good amount of income tax during the beginning of the year, I feel like this is somebody that wants to come back so they can help spend that money at the beginning of the year. So they're going to play these mind games. They're going to say they want a new beginning. They're going to say they want to walk down the aisle. This person is going to do all of these things, promise all these things, telling you that they need you to trust them because there's a benefit that's going to be gained for them from this situation. All right. Matter of fact, I want to go ahead and look into the tarot cards and see um, what it clarifies. All right. More important messages that the Aquarius need to know. Give me the most important messages that the Aquarius need to know, please. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the decision has been made, all right? Um, listen, there the decision needs to be made. Excuse me, I'm sorry. There's definitely a decision that needs to be made, all right? Because I feel like in the past, this person has caused a lot of self-destruction in your life. For some of you all, they've caused embarrassment, all right? You're dealing with somebody that is always involved with somebody else. You have this Knight of Swords energy here in the reverse. Some of you all could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Some of you all could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, because we do have Knight of Swords, and then we have Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, this person is coming towards you for another opportunity, all right? What's going to benefit them, 
all right, is that this person is definitely making this journey towards you. This is somebody that is not going to be able to fulfill what it is you want in your life. They're going to be a disappointment, and unfortunately, it is going to lead to a broken heart for those of you all that choose to entertain this person, all right, because I'm telling you, this person is coming back because of your abundance. They want to be able to be a part of the things that you've gained, this victory, this stability. You are stable. They may date people that are unstable. They could be unstable, but they want the stability that you have without actually giving you benefits, all right, to help you. It's like they only want to come and take from whatever, whatever it is that you have. This is somebody that is very vain, very arrogant. This is also somebody that treats you very unjustly i don't unjustly unfair it's another way to say this it's time to make the intelligent choice here aquarius you're very smart you got to stop turning a blind eye to this person you got to stop giving them benefits of the doubt one thing about us is that when we love and we care about somebody especially if we have them to the when we love them to the point we see them as not just a lover but we see them as a friend we can overlook a lot of red flags Somebody's overlooking a lot of red, red flags here, okay? This is just somebody, no matter how much you try to work, there's arguments, there's fighting. This is just somebody that talks out the side of their mouth. All of this is just, oh, well, I'm going to do this when I get that. Oh, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But there's never any progress in the relationship. It just, it's, it's just stand still. It's sort of like when they come in, they delay your abundance and it has to stop. I feel like it has to stop. It has to stop. It's just not. What you want, is this person is not able to give you. Wow. It don't get any clearer than that. Wow. Wow. It doesn't get any clearer than this, Aquarius. Don't let your past hold you back. This person is holding you back from meeting the one that you're supposed to be with. It says, show the world the real you. All right, it's time for you to show the world the real you. I feel as if in some way this person kind of stolen a part of your happiness, your glow, your thing that makes you you. And it says, don't let your pride get in the way. Your pride will tell you like, oh no, you know, you can't do this. And then, and um, I feel like there's somebody that just doesn't, not ready to let everybody else know that the relationship is over but who cares or you're not your your pride is like well you know yeah this person i i feel like they're not gonna hurt me again so i'm just gonna keep on dealing with this but the truth of the matter is this is somebody that's not looking out for your well-being so why are you looking out for theirs you're gonna find out the truth about this person justice is coming this person's gonna get their karma for this coming in and making you feel on top of the world only to take everything back from you. But at the end of the day, you have to know when enough is enough. If you guys enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm Miss Agmo Diva. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!